Hello guys, it's dinner time and we're talking about uh, maybe five cultural differences in the Philippines and the U.S. <laughs> Family time. Dr. Wood. The first, the first one I'm going to mention is um, when the kids grow older, if they turn like 18, here in the United States, sorry our table's a mess, we got bananas, hot sauce, you know how it is. Um, yeah. The kids leave the house when they're in America, 18, they can't wait to get out. Yeah, so they can't wait to get out. But in some cases, a lot of them get married when they're in their 20s and come back home five years later because they got divorced. <laughs> in the Philippines, what do they do there, honey? I mean... Some other kids just stay with their mom while working. Oh, and when the mom's getting old or the dad, they always take good care. We don't we don't have really like a senior living there or what's it called this one? Mama. Home retirement and stuff. You know, yeah. we we live in a simple life. So usually we take good care of our mom and dad when they grow old. So we take turns. For example with me. When my mom and dad's gonna getting old sooner, oh, I'm the one who work. I'm the source of income. Then I send money to the Philippines, and then I tell my brother and sister, it's like, hey, you guys, while I'm working, I can send you money, buy some food or whatever moms need and dad, and they can take good care of my mom and dad. But I'm the one who working and send the money to them so that they can take good care of my mom and make it sure they're healthy and stuff, buying some medicine or whatever they need. So that's what we all do. Like Filipino do all the time. They take good care of their mom and dad once they're getting old. Even though they're not old, we're still taking good care of them. And um, what else? Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's just one of the things. Uh, number two. Like, for instance, we're eating. Well, of course, we're in an apartment. It's different. Like, people can't see us eating. Or if you're there, you know, like, you know, like the, for instance, lady next door, we offer a couple of meals before. But it's not like if we were outside in a barbecue and people walk by, you just don't say, hey, come here, have, let's eat. Come eat. I'll eat that eat. Um, it's not like that here in America. Um, if somebody's coming over a lot, what dish are you bringing with you? You know what I mean? Here it's uh, a little bit different. In the Philippines, it's kind of like this. We always invite people to eat. Even, because usually we Filipinos, we love to eat. Sometimes we have a little picnic outside the house and you know, usually where I live, we we all know each other. So while we're eating, if our friends come, hey, you're eating dinner, so they hi, come by and eat with us. You know, it's it's really up to you if you want to eat. But we're always inviting people, like you know, pass by and eat like that stuff. And we always eat together. When we are in the table, we're not really like same as here, like watching TV or using the i the phone while eating our dinner breakfast or whatever whatever our meal we always make it sure we eat together and yeah. we have time together we eat in the table and talk about life and stuff and um you know it's just simple life yeah so, so i worked before in in the tax office i remember that time while i was working in the office right so it's lunch time. It's my first time though. Elijah. Elijah, just a second, my boy. Hold on, son. So all my co-worker eating their their lunch. You mean like, here in America? Yeah, here in America. So they eat like different. Like the other lady ate in her table and the other in the other table and stuff. And I pass by through and you don't even say like, hey, Jessica, come by and eat some lunch with us. Like, you know, like they eat in with, what's it called that one, babe? by their self they don't really invite us like it says like they don't say here you want some or something yeah or something like hey come on eat with us like 
if it's a Filipino thing, like, hey, come on, let's sit down here at the table and let's eat together. Because it's nice, like, it's kind of a group, like, eating together and talking. Even though, like, you have 30 minutes break or 30 minutes lunch, it helps a lot. You know, like, you know, like a little bit conversation with your coworker and stuff. And it's nice to eat, like, with kind of like a family thing, you know. I miss that one in the Philippines, we'll though, we eat together and stuff. Yeah, so there's one I think a little bit different. For instance, how you brought up I mean, years ago when I was a kid, you expected respected your elders a little better. But watch what my son is about to do. Come on, boy. Mama says. Bless mama. Bless mama. God bless you. Yeah, you do that to you know the elderly and older people. <coughs> you know, you bless them. It's a sign of respect. Uh, here in the U.S., when I was a kid, I learned to say, hello, Mr. So-and-so, Mr. Jones, Mr. or Mrs. Smith. Now the kids say, hey, hey, Claude. They don't even, you don't even get a sir out of them. It's not the same like it used to be. In the Philippines, we always respect, like, big sister, like, <coughs> call Api, big brother, like, Kuya, uncle, or auntie, Tito and Sita. There's always something, like, we show respect. We don't call Imagine. by their name, but we call like um, different names like uncle, aunties, and like that stuff. Or grandma, grandpa, like that's what. Lulu, Lula, Nana, Tata, like that stuff. We always give respect to them. A lot of Americans uh, like to argue. Filipinos don't. Women, you know, they have tampo, they just won't speak to you. They're not going to argue. I care, and I can make go on for three or four days. Um, Filipinos take showers a couple times a day. You always see the tabo, what do you call it? Tabo. Uh, tabo. Uh, there's some people here in the United States take a shower every couple of days. It's just what, I, my, what I'm talking, what I see. Americans have strict schedules. We're never late. I always tell my wife, be on time, I like to be on time. Filipinos? Always late, but not me! <laughs> I'm always on time. Not me too. How about my buhay, my pagasa? Yay! Filipinos are not quitters. <laughs> you always fight, fight, fight. You say, love and love and love and love and love. You say, um. Divorce rate is crazy here in America. Um, the Philippines. Sorry. What? In the Philippines, they don't believe in divorce. Yeah. Yeah. We always stick to the marriage thing. That's why also a lot of foreign men go to the Philippines because of that and the problems they may have had in Western countries. But anyways, there's some. That's some of the the cultural differences in the Philippine, Philippines, and America. And uh, my son's definitely Filipino. He wants more rice. Every Filipino loves to eat rice three times a day. <laughs> that's why. <what I> <laughs> All right, maraming, maraming oh, so much. Say bye. You see, I'm ping. I'm ping.